I mean, what just to extrapolate, okay. I'm curious as to why one gun is a deal breaker, or not a deal breaker, but 1,000 guns would be. I think it's What's like the a, distinction there? It's a hobby at that point, and it's a weird hobby for me. Why is it weird? It's weird. Why do you need a bunch of guns? Why do you need to be on OnlyFans? Uh, that has nothing to do with guns. Am I well, aggressive? I mean, Am the, I, the, like, the, the, If you're asking in an abstract of why does, why does a person need X? I don't think OnlyFans right? girls are like collecting guns. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like, it's, what, it's what would that have to do with anything? I'm very if uncomfortable you're asking, around guns. If you're asking in I this am. abstract of why does a person need to do X, he doesn't need to do it. What's okay. the problem with him doing it? It's just What's something that I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel comfortable around a lot of guns. Man, man, oh man. Uh, another good one here. And this is a subject I like to talk about. And I like to express this too when I teach about women learning how to defend themselves, armed and unarmed. Okay. And I say armed and unarmed because, yes, <clears throat> Andrew Wilson here is going to talk to these OnlyFan girls here about this situation involving protection with the firearm this girl is anti-gun but later on in this when you see this you're going to hear another one chime in about unarmed self-defense okay which i believe brazilian jiu-jitsu is really a really good way in unarmed defense because you honestly need to you need to have some training in both okay brazilian jiu-jitsu is very very good it teaches you how to defend yourself from the ground also other forms of martial arts too they also help as well. Karate, uh, Taekwondo, Judo, different forms of martial arts. Anything that is unarmed, that is hand-to-hand -hand combat, that you will most likely be involved in if you get physically attacked or assaulted by someone, there is going to be some point of physicality that is going to be within two arms reach. So these things need to be trained. You need to know something about them, okay? But anyway, right before I get into this thing here, um, I gotta back this up and get it started. You gotta hear this thing from the beginning here and listen to it all the way to get them. But before we go into this video, make sure you go to tacticalpovstore.com. Use my code TPOV, get 20% off everything in the store. And also ironinfidel.com. Use my code tacticalpov to get 10% off on the battle bottles on the 64. And I believe it's a, yeah, it's 64 ounce. It's like a half gallon. And then the other 32 ounce, smaller one size. Both of them work great, you guys. Check them out. So anyway, let me uh, let me bring this up so we can take a good, a good look at this here and 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 listen to uh, listen to this story here and listen to uh, Andrew Wilson here break this down into some logic. And then you're gonna hear some one here on some other ones where you just shake your head and go, "Come on, man, for real? Seriously? All right, let's let's take a look at this." But, I mean, what just to extrapolate, okay. I'm curious as to why one gun is a deal breaker, or not a deal breaker, but 1,000 guns would be. I think it's What's like the a, distinction there? It's a hobby at that point, and it's a weird hobby for me. Why is personally. it weird? It's weird. Why do you need a bunch of guns? Why do you need to be on OnlyFans? Uh, that has nothing to do with guns. Am I aggressive? Well, I mean, Am the, I, the, like, the, the, if you're asking in an abstract of why does, why does a person need X, I don't think OnlyFans right? girls are like collecting guns. I don't know. I don't like it's, what, it's what would that have to do with anything? I'm very if you're uncomfortable asking, around guns. If you're asking in I this am. abstract of why does a person need to do X, he doesn't need to do it. What's okay. the problem with him doing it? It's just What's something that issue? I wouldn't I wouldn't feel comfortable around a lot of guns. If like I just wouldn't I Yeah, what, I mean does that is it telling you something about him? Do you think that it kind of it pushes I've some some in, sort of, sort of abusive, ideologies or an ideological okay. distinction? What's the problem? Okay. So I've been in abusive relationships in the past mm -hmm. and steroids, guns, things like that, maybe playing violent video games were a trait of men that kind of had this like violent tendency in my personal life, my experience, I'm not saying all men that collect guns. So for me personally, it would be a red flag if I walked into the house and I saw a lot of guns. All right, let me pause it right there because everything that you just said was a lot of, uh, how can I say? leftist talking points about certain situations under leftist bias studies done on certain things involving <laughs> violent video games, steroids, and you dealing with abusive men. So my question is this, if you're dealing with an abusive man, here's my question. What is it about you that 
attracts abusive men? That's my question. Okay. What is it about you? I mean, is that who you just gravitate towards? You don't pay attention to seeing the red flags or anything like that? Because I'm sure there's a bunch of red flags. And it's not the simple fact of if a man is abusive, okay, he's got a bunch of guns, plays violent video games, and takes juice or any of those factors. How does that make any sense? I'm trying to make sense of this. Because honestly, what you just said, what she just said right there makes me question you. I'm not saying excusing other men that may be in a situation, as you say. And I know she's trying to say not all men, but some men. But I'm thinking about, well, what about the some men that, you, that you're attracted to something like that? Or you gravitate towards them and attract to you. What is it about you? Okay. Now, got to remember, too, uh, she's an OnlyFans girl. So there's other, other questions to be asked, too, as well. What if he was a cop? I still don't know why a cop needs to have a lot of guns at his house. Well, I mean, our, I guess my my understanding of your kind of pushback here mm -hmm. is that abuse, abusive men have guns. I think it's a little weird that men would collect a room of guns. I, I think it is. Why? They have lots of value and they go up in value every year. It's a great investment. So are Birkins. You think that's a red flag for women to have a lot of expensive bags? No, those go down in value every year. Birkins and like Chanel bags? Basically all fashion items. Uh, do Chanel go bags go down in value, generally. ladies? Yeah, all Chanel so. bags? No, it no. usually actually goes up. Yeah. So I hey. think... Uh, freeze, freeze, freeze. Okay. As he's stating, they do go down in value. They do. Okay. And understand that. that. Understand that that they do go down in value the only way they don't go down in value is if it is if that fashion bag whatever apparel or something that is worn by somebody of status elite status stature something like that somebody else famous that's well known or wide known or something like that that's the only way that's the only way that those items, those fashion items, even designers, okay, if they've done work for years, you know, like, you know, how, how do we you know of a man like Ralph Lauren and all the other ones? Who cares, dude? Honestly, I'm not into fashion. Fashion is not my thing. I truly don't care about it. But that's the only time something will carry itself of value. The thing about fashion is that there's always the next thing coming out from that fashion, okay? So something that you might have worn a year or two years ago or something like that, or three years ago, unless somebody else rewears that thing and it's seen something and it's involved in something like that, to where that would bring that fashion, that style back, it would be a retro look. And if it's not, that means the next newest design or fashion, something like that, then that is what the price tag is tacked at as far as expense, as far as it being worth something, okay? A lot of fashion, a lot of a lot of designs and fashion, even though it is from a reputable company, a lot of those old fashions do not hold value anymore because it just got replaced. The only way it does hold value, as I said, someone or something has to give it status in order to make sure that it maintains its wealth or even appreciates and goes up. And it's very rare. Not a whole lot of fashion is like that. Firearms, on the other hand, yeah, they do. They do. You look at classic firearms right now, they cost an arm and leg, get your hands on. Okay. Same thing. They're still around. So th there's an argument to be made there. Put it that way. So. I'm talking in generalities here. So Generally, I... fashion items are going to go down in value. So all guns go guns up in value? Guns are always, all guns go up in value every year, yes. I still don't want a bunch of guns in my significant other's house i have a niece and nephew i don't want to walk in to i just wouldn't feel comfortable mm. if he has them all locked up he just has a wall of them i said <laughs> a gun is okay i don't want a wall of guns i would personally feel uncomfortable i'm allowed to feel uncomfortable around a lot of guns it's just weird yeah you're me. allowed to i'm just wondering what the the reasoning for why you feel that way is it just like it's like just an inanimate object it's right? just kind of it's it's scary to me you see it in movies and videos and it's like always okay this is where the ignorance comes in. This is where it kicks in. And this is like a lot of people who are anti-gun 
And the reason why they are very anti-gun is because they are very, very uneducated about firearms. Very uneducated about it. And this is where the feeling and being uh, standing a position on being anti-gun, a lot of this is where it comes from. And it especially comes from women, a lot of women. Why am I saying this? Because there are a lot of inexperienced women around firearms. They're very, very uneducated about it. Now, more and more women are being educated about it and getting into carrying firearms and getting into this. And even if it's recreational, uh, do it for sport, whatever. Or as I said, just carrying just EDC, just caring for the personal protection. You see what I'm talking about? Because from her standpoint and why, the way she feels about it, this comes from lack of knowledge. All of this, really everything she's saying is coming from lack of knowledge. Is in a violent way. You're not like, hey, I'm, I'm as long as the safety is fun. I just wouldn't like want to be around them. <laughs> okay. Her interjecting in that comment, as long as the safety's on, that also comes, so it comes from a, a lack of knowledge as well, too, to a degree. Accidents happen, yeah. and I'm just very like, I just don't, I don't, I don't like it. It makes me uncomfortable. If you're in an, if you're in an abusive relationship, I have been. Would you rec? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why is it that you wouldn't recommend the one tool which can equalize force between men and women Absolutely. that a woman doesn't get? Absolutely. That a woman doesn't get that a man would have? No, no, no. Uh, the only thing which can equalize force between men and women is a gun. That's right. Okay. But That's he it. Has the That's the only stuff. force equalizer which is even possible. But it's not like I own the guns and I have access and keys and I can go in there and use his guns. Yeah, but if you were She's a person who was abused or, or has been a victim of abuse, wouldn't you want to own a gun? <laughs> no. I feel very safe in my living situation where I live and I don't feel like I need a gun there. Very ignorant. Very ignorant. As I said, lack of knowledge. Lack of understanding and extremely mindset is absolutely ignorant. Okay, you feel very safe where you live and everything, but it's anywhere USA, sweetheart, anywhere USA. You can feel safe wherever you live. That's fine. You can also say that you, you don't put yourself in situations to where you think you'll be victimized. That's fine. In some places, the odds are less, but the odds are still there. Okay. You never go by blind ignorance and saying, okay, I don't go in certain places. So I don't think this is going to happen to me. So I should be good. It doesn't work like that. All right. It does not. You need to be aware situationally aware and be aware of everything else that's going on and also carry some protection with you something okay a gun is good for most situations I would say most not every situation but it is the most effective for most situations so yeah i know but for for generally for abuse victims don't you think they'd want to own a gun not all abuse. Considering it's the only thing that can equalize force between men and women. Do you think that people that have been women? abused need to have a gun to protect themselves? Not all. I'm abusive. sorry. Say that again. So not, not. I wouldn't feel like a gun. I wouldn't want to have a gun on me. I wouldn't want to use a gun. That could ruin my life. Just because I was in a situation like I don't. I wouldn't. How would a gun ruin your life? If you if it if it was an argument and it went off in a situation. Mm. I wouldn't want to have guns. A gun. Don't go off in arguments. What do you mean? You can kind of be in an argument, and a gun's going to go off. Gun? Guns don't have... jump off gun... the shelf because you're in an argument. No, a gun doesn't make me feel off. safe. A gun does not make me feel safe mm -hmm. against a abusive man. Is that just because you don't know how to use one? I just don't want a gun. No answer. I'm allowed to not want to have a gun in my home. Yeah, you're allowed to. I'm just, I was just curious. It's just I just personally... wanted to dive in a little bit no, because it. it seems to me, it I seems understand. to me that if you were a, a female and you were concerned because you had been an abuse victim in the past, mm -hmm. that the one tool which exists, which could equalize force between men and women, I would think that women would want that. Exactly. And her answer, what she gives, is she just doesn't feel safe. That answer right there says. Uh, she's never shot a gun. She doesn't know how to use a firearm. Therefore, she's not comfortable with a firearm. That's what her answer is. When she didn't answer him and said something, I just don't feel safe. That's what that means. It means you, you've never shot a gun. You're uncomfortable with him because you're, you, you lack knowledge of a firearm. You've never handled him. You never shot him probably ever at all. You just don't know anything about him. They're just scary to you. Do women want that? Do you guys yes, feel like you want to? Yes, I would gun? love to learn how to shoot okay, a gun and that. use it for protection at go. all times. Okay. Anyone else? I would. Smart. I would. Too. I would That's yeah. fucking smart, by the way. Every one of them at the table are all like, "Yes, I would." There you go. And he's right. Very smart. 
Yes, you have the curiosity. Act upon that curiosity and get training. Once you get training of how to use a firearm and properly use a firearm, everything about the safety aspect of what's going on with the firearm and understand that there's, it, it is just a tool. It is just a tool. That's it. And once you understand how to use that tool properly, a lot of that fear goes away. I say this from personal experience of teaching women for years. And I've taught a lot, a lot of first time beginners, a lot of first time. We've never shot a firearm ever in life. And they take, they've taken my course. And at the end of my course, I ask them, how do you feel about your firearm now about shooting it? And it's, night and day literally night and day from the time going in i'm talking seeing these women just sweating just nervous shaking trembling everything else like that and then once they calm down and shoot and i get them to understand this is procedure this is the safety that you start with first and then you go from there it's step by step by step okay once they figure that and they they don't figure it out once i teach them all of that and they get comfortable after the first shot. Because a lot of women think that, you know, this gun is gonna jump out of my hand and hit me or shoot me or something like that. Then they realize, okay, you're only shooting a, a nine millimeter, or if you're shooting a 40 or 45, I had women, first time shooting a gun ever, and had one, she was shooting a 45. She never shot a gun in her life, she wants to shoot a 45. I'm like, good, you're gonna shoot a big caliber gun here. Now you're gonna understand how this thing works and how it feels. So, um, once they get past that, like that first shot and they realize, oh my God, it's different than the second shot, then the fourth, the fifth, by the time they get to that 10th or just basically run that magazine, once they get done with that, you can, I can physically watch them, their nerves and everything start to go from way up here to really start coming down. I mean, I can just physically watch them starting to gain confidence and more and more. And another fun note too, guys, uh, first time women shooters, they wind up shooting better than men who've been shooting for quite some time because guys fight ego. That's testosterone and ego. They have to fight. You know, women don't have that. Women actually listen. <laughs> they don't listen to anything else from coming from a man. It's funny. They listen when you want to teach them how to shoot a firearm, shoot it the right way. Yeah. They, they stay quiet and they listen and pay attention. They do exactly as you tell them to do in a straight, and I'm telling you, trust me, they do. They shoot act more accurate than most men I've seen. All right. It's funny watching it. By the way, that's smart. I really want to learn. Just like, yeah, for safety. Reasons. For safety. I have mace next to my door. You mace. can't bring mace to a gunfight, though. Right. I'm not going to, oh, I don't think I'm Just gonna... saying, what if someone comes just up to you? Just like when you're getting robbed, yeah, or like if you're getting robbed, you need to protect something. yourself. I don't think there's anything no, wrong with having I don't a gun. think I need a gun to protect myself. I'm a not, small I don't pistol. put myself in situations where I'm a purse pistol. Be, I don't go out late at night. I live in New York. I'm not like oh, walking around Coney crazy. Island late at night with a gun. Yeah. Hang on, uh, hang on, right. real quick. Mm -hmm. I just, I just want to make sure that I get this right. Uh, over to the gal. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, in the near the center, I can't. I can't remember your your name. Um, far into the table, on the the, uh, the far right, well, one of the Christian two. Oh. Not. Yeah, you. Yes. I'm sorry. What's your name again? Oh yes, Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Okay. Yes. So I just want to make sure that I have this right, but I just got a clip sent over to me that at roughly 52 minutes in, this is what I'm I'm hearing it anyway. When you were asked if you were celibate, you said yes since last night? Oh no, last May. Not last night. Right, uh -huh. no. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I was just I was just making I was just making sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's all. So anyway. Yeah, back but anyway, back to this, uh, you know, on the on the gun discussion. What's up with my girl over there to the left right there? What is so she got on her head there. Hey, she's pretty. What the hell is that she wearing on her head? I'm just trying to check out the hat there. I mean, I know what it is, but anyway. Um, so most of you gals, you would say that since this is an equalizer, a force equalizer, your preference would be to know how to use one and have one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. The only thing is that I heard 
like an argument that I kind of thought about was that because men are stronger and bigger than us, they if we have a weapon, they can always like mm. wrestle it out of us and use it against us. And but that doesn't really deter me from wanting to have one just to be more trained and um for that purpose I actually started training like BJJ. Um fuck yeah. So <laughs> You know, just Why, well, 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 that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Why would you think that uh, if a guy could wrestle a gun away from you, which is de about the deadliest object you can have, that he's not going to have a massive advantage over you if you know Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? Because Let me stop right there, because what she's talking about is what she heard was a minute stat that was put out. God, it, it, I, I can't be precise on the date. I know it had to be. It was somewhere 10 years ago, something like that. I can't remember. But I know which one she's familiar with because it was it was a uh, an anti-gun talking point that was stated. Um, God, that stuff, it slips my mind. I hear it and then dismiss it myself. But um, I know where she got this this hearsay of this study, which was done before, and it was such a minute number of women that used a firearm that was where a guy wrestled it and taken away from him and used it against him. It's only it's it's very very rare, and it's only happened a few times over the years. It's not some huge number, huge amount. So then anti-gun advocates come in and they pull that number out and pull that stat out and talk about the fact that this is see this is what happens if a woman has a gun you know she has more chance of it being taken away from and used against her in a case of abuse or anything else like that or a violent attack which is a bunch of bs because they never state the fact that how many crimes have been deterred and stopped because someone was carrying a firearm and the thing is is they never say that those there are women included in that stat okay it's not just men there are women included in that stat that have deterred crimes where that stat is said to be anywhere from 400,000 to upwards of 2 million or more a year. That stat is being said that those cases are, and there was a women involved in that number, in that stat. So, but they cherry pick certain numbers out of it, you know, and then put a negative light on it and make you say, see, this is what'll happen. It's a bunch of BS, man. That's what it is. They don't give you context to a story, anti-gun activists and, and media and, whatever whatever anti-gun outlet to as as usual they never really give you context on something they just want to throw a number out there cherry pick and throw it out there real quick and then skip over everything else and move on just to try to make you dwell on that point of what they said so they can get that point across and make you think oh really that's really what happens oh well i don't know now stop because if you know anything about the sport um brazilian jiu-jitsu is a, is a great way to maneuver um, bigger weights um, it's not yeah have you also seen how many men with no training go up against women who, who have Brazilian jiu-jitsu training and still overpower them easily True yeah fact. so in my Brazilian jiu-jitsu class like one of her friends she's a purple belt and she was attacked by two people and she broke uh -huh. all their legs and it was like on the yeah, news okay, so I'm not yeah, that, so that I mean, never you can, happened assuming that's literally that the never news. happened your I'm friend was not attacked by two men you, and you they can broke look their legs that's absurd Okay, what and is it called? I'll look it up right now. You can look it up. Like I'm gonna look it up. What's foot, it called? Four foot eleven girl. Attempts. Your four foot eleven year old or four eleven, foot 11 <laughs> inch girlfriend <laughs> did not break a Absolutely. bunch of men's legs Absolutely. when she, she was wasn't attacked. Eleven, though. With Brazilian jiu-jitsu, that's insane. No, I want to see no. the proof. That's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> that's video. not happening. I'll know what I walked back in on, but that sounded... <laughs> that sounds interesting. That sounded ridiculous. It, it is. It, it is It is absolutely yes, ridiculous. Yes. What Stuff is your, that never happened for 500. Yeah, I got that never happened for 1,000. <laughs> absolutely. Look, look, I got girls that are friends of mine for years, and there's, I know a few, quite a few of them. They're like 5'1", 5'2", 5'4", 11". I've got a few girls I've known for years that are four foot eleven. I know how tall they are. I'm five seven. Okay. I'm five seven. Now two hundred and sixty pounds. Uh, you know. And <laughs> I I know what they look like, okay? That size. Even being and, and let me tell you something. As I said, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is is an excellent, excellent martial art. It is an excellent martial art, especially as I said, when it comes down to when you when when you are needing some unarmed self-defense, 
Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is excellent for that. Okay. As I said, it's teaching you how to defend yourself from the ground. And that is very important because a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combats and confrontations end up on the ground. They do. The close encounters, they do. So it's perfect for that. But stop with stop with the four foot eleven girl purple belt who broke two guys who assaulted her and broke both legs. I'm not buying that either. I'm not. Literally, what, what's She's the what's money the money video tonight. called? It's not a video. It was on the news, and that was uh, that news. was something that my classmate had said, and that was her like close friend. Oh, so, so you are the third person here in this story. <laughs> This is like your classmate said that a friend of hers said, and this is how you got the story. He said it was on the news. Oh, okay. Um, you can, so you it was a friend of a news. friend of yours said that it was yeah. on the news. Did you actually yeah. see and it yourself on the news? If I can continue what I'm saying, um, you can yeah, also Yeah, but hang on, hang on. Up. You can, but did you yourself actually see it on the news? No. Um, no. Exactly. No. Okay, so exactly. this is, uh, so a friend of a friend told you this. Right. Yes, and if you look up any YouTube video of real-life Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fights, um, they're there for you to, you can look it up right now. Um, yeah, it's I, not, I can. It's I, not the most effective, for... but, I mean. Wait, should, Andrew, I got something for this. <laughs> no, 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 hang on, hang on. I just want to be clear that when you said that you had a friend who <laughs> broke men's legs with Brazilian right, Jiu-Jitsu right. who attacked her, that that's actually not true. That no. what's actually true is that you have a friend who told you she had a friend that happened to, and it was on the news, but you yourself but you never actually saw, saw it. it. Like, that I didn't see the news? Like Yes. No, I didn't see the news, okay. as I so said there's before. An, so how do you know that any of this right. is true? Right, right. Because I'm believing in my friend who that person was oh. a very close friend to her okay. and I'm trusting in what she says because I also know the sport and I know how capable uh, people are. It's like solo scriptura to... for the news now, huh? So, okay, well, I'm going to look. I'm going to look to be charitable and see if there's any woman ever who has been attacked who knows Brazilian jiu-jitsu who then went and broke the male adversary's legs with it. But I got to tell you what I think I'm going to Donated $100. Okay. And, and I'm serious. Like, <laughs> ah, wow. Ah, yeah. I, you know what? I'm going to do the same thing, too. I'm going to have to slow down and see if I can find that my damn self because I'm not buying it either. Not at that. I'm sorry. I'm not going to buy that. Could it happen? Maybe. Truthfully, I'm not buying it. Not until I actually see it. Okay, I'm gonna go the same way. I'm not gonna sit here and go by hearsay from another story. And uh, especially when you're like the third party, okay? Cause you know how a story begins, man. You get 10 people in a row, you say one story, I'm gonna tell them to transport it down, you know, and tell it to the next one, next till it gets to the end. And that story is totally different than when it started. So, and it usually changes like about the third and fourth person it gets to. This is usually the story is starts, it starts to differ. Okay, put it that way, so. Anyway, that's the video. Guys, like I said, it's pretty nuts, you know. But it, what is it? As I said, a lot of this, a lot of this is coming from young women and even older women who've never shot before because of just lack of knowledge. And that's what it is, lack of knowledge. I have a video. I, I, I'm trying to think if I even posted. I don't know if I posted it on my channel. I have to take a look at it. But I taught my mother how to shoot for the first time ever. Okay. My mother never shot a handgun, never. And I taught her, I believe a couple years ago, <clears throat> first time, okay? <clears throat> and it was awesome. It was awesome. My mom handled my nine millimeter Glock like a champ. And she did exactly like I said. Women are, women are so good with this when it comes to this, when they are a clean slate, teach her proper safety, proper handling, proper grip, proper sight picture, everything, how to line the sights up, what you need to see, how to focus, how to properly press the trigger, everything. She did great. It was awesome. And she never shot. My mom's almost 80 years old. She never shot a gun. And she's a country girl. Just, just well, I'm a country boy. I mean, I was raised in the country, you know? I mean, I grew up, she's my whole life shooting, you know, since I was little, 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 real little very little yeah i could just i could just put a a, a 22 little marlin 22 rifle 
just barely enough to put it on 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 on, on like a prop on a, on a on a picnic table and shoot the damn thing okay but just big enough standards was what six years old i think six seven years old when i first learned how to shoot somewhere in there okay i was just about about that normal age of some uh we should say as country folk about then some anywhere from five to six seven years old we all learned to shoot right around then so my mom never shot handled like a champ okay once she once i taught her everything she needed to know for basic pistol basic pistol shooting and handling like a champ those young ladies there man I love seeing that because I love seeing the curiosity and they they want to know. They want knowledge and they really want to know how to handle it because, as Andrew Wilson said, that is true. The gun is the greatest equalizer a woman can have as far as protecting herself from abuse, from situations to where when it comes to giving women empowerment and extra power in order to handle themselves, such as that, it is a gun. And once you learn how to handle it, you you... It is so enlightening to a woman to see that that, that glow and that light and that, that that change in them. I mean, when you physically watch them, they just they feel so empowered when they finally get it down and they understand that now I'm confident of how to handle this firearm, and now it becomes that challenge of being accurate with that handgun. That's where it comes in. And when they start learning to be more accurate, and the more they shoot and the more they get into it, you know, they really get into it. And it's the most empowering thing that a woman honestly can go through is learning how to protect herself with said weapon. Okay. It's amazing. I love seeing it. I, I do. I really get a kick out of teaching women, teaching women how to empower themselves and teaching them how to defend themselves with firearm. I really, really, really do like it because I love seeing that change in, in women. Because I'm a huge advocate for women carrying and protecting themselves. I always have been. Okay. Guys, yeah, guys, 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 we have fun and jack around and do whatever. You know what I mean? Seeing guys, you know, get better, you know, but I don't look at it as empower as a guy being empowered, you know, shooting a fire. I'm like, come on, it's a, it's a guy thing. So, but for women, love it. I love it. So, anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. What do you think about this here? Do, did you ever run into a situation like this with if you had conversations with other women about this who just just lack the knowledge of a firearm you know if you guys teach like i do if you're instructive you don't have you ever had conversations about this and actually talk to women and ask them to say you know what if you learned how to use a firearm would you feel different about it if they were anti-gun like this like the one lady is have you ever talked to them and asked a question say have you ever shot a firearm before have you ever got training before then why haven't you if you haven't done it, why haven't you done it? And if you want to do it, why don't you get involved in doing it? So then you can eliminate all the questions and the fear and put that behind you once you get knowledge about the firearm. It is nothing to be scared of, but you do have to give it some respect. You have to give it a lot of respect. It's just like motorcycles, okay? I grew up my whole life riding dirt bikes and everything else. Man, I still got a motorcycle that I haven't been on in 20 years, which is depressing because <laughs> it's in pieces still. One of them way 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 on the back burner projects trying to put that thing back together but anyway it's another story Jeez, probably another story i have to talk about on my personal channel it'll be away from all this all the second amendment stuff but uh it, it's the same thing you know motorcycles are awesome they're absolutely fun and that and that feeling of freedom riding that machine lord knows i miss it i do but you have to give it some respect because that thing can kill you in seconds. Okay. Same thing with the firearm. You don't have to be afraid of it. Give it respect. It can kill you in a second. Okay. It's all about knowledge and knowledge is easy to obtain. Extremely easy. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this video, guys. And make sure you check out the ones I got set up coming up here. Remember, you are responsible for your own safety.